Hey, welcome to Ad Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today, we're gonna play Chimera, Chimera Station. Station. Chimera Station. Chimera. Chimera. Station. Chimera. Chimera. We're still in space. Chimera. It's yeah. Chimera. Yeah. All right. All right. Chimera Station is um, a game designed by uh, Mark Major, published by Tasty Minstrel Games here in the states. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a worker and tile placement game for two to four players and plays in about sixty to ninety minutes. All right. So, let's get this to the table, and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Welcome back to space. To space. Okay. And again, staying in the theme, we have Chimera Station, set up for two players. So, Chimera Station is a worker placement game and tile placement game where we are going to be building a space station and feeding our aliens. Mm-hmm while genetically manipulating their bodies to better suit our worker placement needs. Mm -hmm. So we've each taken the role of two different alien races, uh, me being the eco-friendlies. <laughs> That's nice. And I'm the Brainiacs. And we were the Brainiacs. And what we're going to do is we're going to be taking uh, a series of actions, building the station, uh, generating resources, um, gaining these uh, genetic components to add to our workers and our workers are sort of modular where they come apart and you can add up to a maximum of two genetic components to each worker that will give them different bonuses as you take actions on the board and score victory points so the rounds uh, they're going to be five rounds and each round is broken into a number of different phases uh, the first being the placement phase where we're going to take turns placing our workers onto the board taking a series of actions the, the second phase is called the splicing phase, where we're actually going to take any workers that we've placed in the worker splicing lab and then splicing them with genetic components to give them an upgrade. And then, then they're going to actually come out of the splicing lab and take any of the available actions. Um, the third is the feeding phase, where we're going to actually feed uh, food to our workers. And that will be adjusted depending on uh, whether or not you have certain genetic components on them so it's normally one space burger per yeah. per, one space worker. Burger per worker and um and i'll explain what the components do in a second on the right of our our player board we have a uh, research track and we each start at uh one except for you and we'll go yeah. over our our selections because we're playing with side b of these player boards this is more or less the advanced variant of the mm -hmm. game so we're going to have certain bonuses depending on what species we've taken so you're the brainiacs what do they yeah. do so um they're very science driven mm -hmm. so uh you know my research track actually starts at level two um i started with a an already com complete brain guy he has a brain and um and a perk card so these perk cards over here are going to be sometimes additional actions that we can take sometimes they're passive bonuses mine is an additional action that i can take called non-human resources mm. so i i pulled this one from the first draw of three that we had um to start off the game and um and then i'll be going from there the other bonus that the brainiacs get is that if i have a double brain so if this guy acquires another brain um, or if any of my guys have two brains and they activate the laboratory space which is over here instead of uh detaching one of the components on that particular alien um i can just bump up my laboratory without having to do any of that right so the standard cost if i were to take this action in a lab it would be to detach one of their components and then i can up my science because you're donating your piece for science right you're, you're being a lab specimen so the double brainiac doesn't have to do that so that's their bonus uh for the eco-friendlies i actually can pay burgers instead of money to build a module which i will use food as currency Yep, and normally we have to use money. Normally you use money. We'll explain how that works in a second. So I think um, if we take a look at the board, in the upper left-hand corner we have the round track, so we're going to go through five rounds. Uh, we each start at 10 victory points uh, because if you're not able to feed your, your workers, you actually will have to pay in, in victory points. Along the right side you've got your standard base actions, right? So they're not part of the station, but... I guess they kind of are yeah, off on the side. Yeah, they're probably like the bigger station maybe. Right. And Ship. you, you know, they're just simple actions like get food, get money, or pay money to get 
components, parts, genetic yeah. components, uh, up your science, or down here the constructors. And the way building works in this game, you pay the cost of the, of the building tile that you want that's located in this reactor uh, in money. You place it, earn the reward that you placed it on, and then uh, and the victory points that you've placed it on, and then actually move this worker. You may move them to take the action on the on the newly built uh, module within the space station. Um, one thing to keep note of, like every tile has victory points on it, pretty much for the most part they do. And if you uh, once you build it, you will score the victory points. And once it's out in space, when you take it, normally you wouldn't score any victory points. And if you have happen to have a brain, this is something you really need to keep track of while you're playing. Mm -hmm. If your if your character has the brain uh, genetic component, their bonus is they get victory points equal to the point value of the module placed on. So you want to kind of take actions with your brain guys to score points, mm -hmm. and it's just something you really need to understand uh, when upgrading your your workers because if you don't have any brain points, you're not in brain modules, you're not going to score any points. And something for you guys to understand as we play too, so right. you understand why we're getting points sometimes but not others. Right, because uh, we may not vocalize it and we may even lose track of what points we're getting, <laughs> we but we'll try to do our best here. Uh, to quickly go over what the upgrades are for your workers, right? You've got these four different types of genetic components. Uh, one of them is lobster claws and what these really do is allow you to displace other players workers from uh, a module so if i want if i had a guy with the fists on it he could displace somebody with zero or one modules components from that particular space so i can take the action they took and they'll send that worker to the worker lounge that's what these do if you have two of them on you could displace any opponent regardless right so if if you only have one you can't displace somebody that has two genetic upgrades only one, right? You uh, you get these leaves. Now, what these do is you don't need to be fed during the feeding phase if you have one of these. That plant feeds itself. Mm -hmm. If you have two of these, you actually will generate, start to generate food during the feeding phase. So that's a good source of food income, right? It basically ends up feeding another. Feeding another, yeah. or in my case, I generate three Yeah. in the feeding phase because I'm the plant people, mm. right? The tentacles. If you have somebody with a tentacle, one tentacle, and you uh, go to a module that pays money or food, you will get plus one of either or both, depending if it gives you both. If you have double tentacles, you actually, uh, and you take an action with that worker that earns you a component, a genetic component, you will actually gain an additional of the same type. So you'll get not one, but two of them. And finally, the brain. So like we said before, if you have one brain, when you take a module action, you will score the victory points on it. If you have two brains uh, and you take the command module action, you will score command points. And I'll explain that in a second for everybody, uh, for your workers as well. So on the board, you will see we have two command modules. There are two hubs. Hub B, or slot B, is actually closed until round three. So this is the only one available. If you take this action, you will gain starting player, but you will also score every module that has another player's worker on it. You will score what that particular module scores, right? So you're taking credit for their work. If you have a double brain, and anybody, any worker will score that. It doesn't have to be a brain worker. But if you happen to take that action with a double brain worker, you will actually get to count your own workers as well. So you count every guy's or every worker's uh, module that's being activated that's worth points. So that's a huge way to score points, mm -hmm. um, at least early on and throughout the game. It's something you need to be wary of. So yep. I think that covers it. There's these uh, these cards that Francis talked about earlier, these perks. They're, they're typically well, workers that'll be part of your crew that give you passive bonuses or their modules that you can take. I cannot take her perk action and she yeah, cannot take kind of mine. Private. Yeah. They're your own personal little yeah. modules uh, that you'll have. Those are kind of tough to get throughout the game you really got to get them through technology um or i think some uh, yeah, modules some get them to too get them. so there's a ton of different modules in this game and you'll see it it just it's it, it's <laughs> very it will change the way the game's played depending on what comes out right. so this is the reactor this is what's going to be our supply of building modules uh as we buy from here everything's going to keep sliding to the right and revealing like some icons and then when you go to refill it in the boiler room, you'll actually earn those rewards. And that's the only way to fill this thing back up is to take the boiler room action. So I think we've covered just about everything yeah. without going too far into the rules, but you'll start to understand what we're doing and why we're doing it as we play along. So I think without further ado, let's start round one. Okay. All right, uh, one last thing before we start. 
uh, you'll notice we each have some money and stuff. We we each chose uh, two of the three starting two-player oh, resource yeah. cards, mm -hmm. and what they do is basically give you starting setups. So I got three bucks in a in a module. What'd yep, you get? I got four bucks and two food. Two burgers. Uh, one thing that they can do, the one-time use is called flush the reactor. So once per game, you can discard any number of modules from the reactor and then refill it. So if you don't really like what's out there. I don't really like what's out there. Which I really don't like what's out there either, <laughs> so we might actually just do that. Um, at least not what's out there right now. Those are probably good for later. I don't think they're really good for right now. So yeah. with that said, what would you like to do with your starting move? So now we're in the placement phase. All right. I'm going to start off by going up to hydroponics and getting two food. Well, right off the bat, go for the food. Yep. Okay. What I think I'll do is I'm actually going to build a a building, a module. So I'm going to pay $2. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take the constructor action, pay $2, which is the cost on the left of this module. That is it's a fake out. It's the aquarium. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a fake out? I thought we had an agreement. Oh, no. Well, this is the, out of all the tiles, the only one I really liked. So yeah. I'm going to take this one. And what I'm going to do is place it. Now, you have to place it next to uh, one of the command modules. It can't just be floating out here in space. So they all have to kind of interconnect, which I guess makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Right? So what I'll do is I'll put it, I guess I'll put it over here and take some burgers. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it here. I'm going to get the reward. Some? It's two burgers. Okay. So it's two food. And I score two victory points. If you could push me up two for the co for the, the building of the module. Mm -hmm. And I also now, I may move this guy to activate this module. So I move him here. He activates it. And what do I earn? Underneath it, I get tentacles. Tentacles, because it's an aquarium. That's my turn. All right. And now everything in the reactor slides down. And they start to reveal some bonuses underneath. So the more empty the reactor gets, the more bonuses you can score when you right. uh, when you refill it. All right, I think I will. Hmm. All right, $4. Ooh, that's kind of good. <laughs> the Union Hall lets you score and discard a perk and then take a new perk. That's really good, actually. That would be nice to have on the board. I don't know that I want to do that now, but. I think I'll do that. I'm going to spend four. Okay. So you're going to put a, which worker do you want to put here? Um, I'll send this guy there. Okay. And I will build this. And that's three what? points. Yeah, three oh. points. And I'm going to build it here on the brain. So I get a brain component. Piece. Okay. And three points. One, two, three. And you're going to activate it? Yep. So. Um, well, I don't know if I'm going to activate it. You don't necessarily. It says yeah, you I may. Yeah, don't have to. So you can sit here. Yeah, because I don't. Well. Yeah, like I don't necessarily want to. I, I will, I guess. Okay. Can I just send him there? No, you have to score and discard <laughs> a perk. Or you can leave him here. He's going to pretty much block up our constructor for the rest of the round, though. Yeah, I know. But I don't really want to do that. I just wanted to get that out there. Okay. That's so. fair. Um, so that was your action, right? Mm -hmm. Where do I want to go? I think I'll send somebody to the refinery. Maybe I'll send this guy. Get three bucks, please. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. I see. Refilling the reactor would be nice. Mm. I think I'll send him here. I'm just gonna send him there and get some points. All right, so you gain. I think three points. One, right? two, three points. Yeah. So go ahead and push yourself up three points. Uh, I'm gonna go to splicing. Okay. And I'm also gonna go to splicing. All right, and then I'm gonna do splicing with those. Okay. All right, so that's it. Cool. Now we get to splice. So yep. in order from A to C, A through C, the first guy comes out. 
I could splice him with whatever I want and then take an action. Interesting. So a lot of actions to take. Mm -hmm. uh, I will put the tentacles on him. Oh, okay. Yeah, compared to the later rounds in this game, the first like round or two are just kind of like... Ugh. It's just prep. It's, like... it's prep. All right, so I'm going to go here. Okay. And I'm going to pay $2 mm -hmm. and get a brain. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Now it's your turn. All right, I'm going to do this. And now he's a double brain. He is. Nice. Where are you going to send him? Uh, I'm going to send him to the lab. All right. So, so he does not detach anything. Yeah, he gains I, a point for to, going here. Yeah. So a point. And what is your second? And I get to take another perk. Oh, you get a perk card. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like the grappler. All right. So I will Gain that much. brain this guy. Mm. One, actually, no. What I'm gonna? Yeah, he lets leaves. me. If I have claws, I can displace my own alien, which is cool. All right, so he's a leafy guy, so I'm gonna yep. send him here. Cool. And I'm gonna gain two food. Yep. Because I sent a leafy guy there, and I'm going to and get to refill point. the reactor. So I get a victory point for that as well, and I will refill the reactor. So I brought out a freelancer dormitory and a cargo bay. Oh, that's good. Ah, cargo bay. Cargo bay is awesome. All right, cool. So that's what you kind of want out in the nice. beginning. Yeah. All workers come back now. Once splicing's over. Okay. And can you send me my other guy up there? Sure. The beef All farm right. or whatever. And now we feed one food per guy. Yes, four. I happen to have two leafy guys, so they feed themselves on their own flesh. Mm -hmm. And I just have to pay two food for these other two guys. Nice. And that's round one. So advance the round marker. Okay. Round two, nothing changes. You start us off, you're still player one. Okay. Can you send that guy up to the refinery, please? Three dollars. Yes. Ooh, okay. I love these coins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do I want to go? All right, so I like I, I need money, and that's the only place to make money right now. Mm -hmm. Which is brutal. Yeah. Now oh, that's tough. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go. I think I'm going to build a cargo bay. How? With food and money. Oh, because you can use food. As money. Oh. Right? Sneaky. That's okay. three bucks. Yep. Build a cargo bay for two victory points. And I'm going to put it... Here. And get another leaf. And then I'm going to send him here. And get $2? $3 and three food. Oh, because he's got tentacles. Because he's got tentacles. Good job. Thank you. My engine's not doing great this game. It's early. It's not early. <laughs> this is a fast <laughs> game. And I'm trailing, trailing behind. <sighs> These buildings are not great. Um, flush. Don't keep telling me to do that. I'm going to flush it. Because last time you told me to do that, you're like, I'm just going to do it. And then you didn't do it. <laughs> and you did more stuff. You threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> that was very sleazy. Um, I think I actually want to... I might... Mm. I might build this vineyard, I guess. Maybe. Oh! Uh, what? I actually... What, did you screw up? I couldn't build a cargo bay. Why? It's either all food or all money. 
Oh, all right, we'll take it back. You want me to take it back? We have to. Okay. You didn't have the resources to pay it. Yeah, that's a good point. So, I'll give you back your, well, what did I pay for it? You paid a food and you paid. All right, I had two food two and two money. That's what I had, right? So we'll take that back. Oh, that thwarted. Oh, and I lose my two victory points. Well, that's just... Yeah, I've not played the eco-friendly so I know. I was oh. going to say, I was like, that seems very powerful. Yeah. Mm, that's that's rough. Oh, and I also took a plant when I put that thing. So I'm just losing everything. You were so proud of that I'm move. losing everything. Okay. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll go to the genetics that okay right and if i send a guy here i get two food per tentacle okay so that's, i will take two that's food. valid there how about go. that uh oh. <laughs> really? you know what no take that back <laughs> i'm gonna put them up here okay because it's gonna get me food. three food three food okay well that's just that's the better move right? yes agreed because your tentacle does give you three food or that. an extra food it certainly does All okay right. good I just need to start building up square now? food as a currency. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I will spend my three money, which is what I intended to do from the beginning, and build a cargo bay. So now you can use it. It'll be out there. Oh, will it? Not this round. Not this round. That's okay, though, because I, I, I have food, so I, I don't need money. Who needs money? Um. Yeah. Because I was planning on something else based on your move that wouldn't actually work anymore. So I'm going to have to build this cargo bay okay. and try to get some food. Um, I will build it. Oh, yeah. You need food to feed those brainiacs. To so feed these brains. There's a lot of uh, brain power. What do we have? Food per round. Leafs. Mm. Hmm. I guess I'll go over here to the food. Get you two food? And get two food. All right, which guy are you I'll using? i use this guy. And you're going to get two points so for the building. I get two points for that. I get two food for covering up two food. Right. And then I get two more food. Are you going to take food. this action with yes. him? Yes. Okay. And then I get two dollars. So All right, there. now are you square? I think so. All right, so... What do I want to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to send him to build, because now I have enough food to build. Okay. And I'm going to put one, two, three. Hmm. Yeah, three food. Okay. And build? The vineyard. The vineyard. Slides down. And I'm going to build the vineyard here okay so that gives you three food yep so two points for building right two points for building and three food because i get one food per adjacent module there and there's go. three adjacent modules so that was basically free mm -hmm. man i like this food for money food for money you like sell your arms and stuff yeah he's You're like, <laughs> just <laughs> take some of my <laughs> arm leaves it's okay we just grow it back that's so weird would that give you three food? Hmm. Yeah, I'm swimming in food now. I know. That's good. I I'm making it a green station. Like, what is this? Like five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, four dollars? Yeah, crazy. very expensive. Crazy, crazy. All right, I'm gonna go. I think I'll try this. You might like this too. So mm -hmm. I want to try out my non-human resources action. And what does that do? So this allows me to swap my guy in the station with another player's guy in the station. Mm -hmm. Both may trigger placement effects if possible. Okay. So that's kind of neat, right? So who are you swapping with? I don't know. Um... I will swap with this guy would give me three food and the one up top gives you two 
Yeah, I'm gonna swap these guys. And that gives you more money and currency to build some more stuff too that maybe I could use later, so. I'm surprised you swapped those two. Why? Like, well, why not swap him? Because he grabs a whole bunch more money. No, I mean him instead of him. Oh, so instead you're, you're going to give me two food and two money instead of just three money. Oh, I see what like you mean. Like swap those yeah, two. That, that would be sense. less That's beneficial cool. to me. I see. Yeah. I was going based on proximity. Oh. All okay. right. I just get three bucks. Okay. <laughs> don't you, oh, yeah. Because you're a plant guy. Yeah. There I don't get go. extra. Why do you always give me all these singles? Oh, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always forget we have these like giant three Threes coins. are awesome. I like them. They are. They're very cool. And I get three food. Are you hurting on food? Well, no, but I like to stockpile. You'll see. Oh, so It'll you don't all have to think sense. about it? It'll all make sense soon. soon I enough. guess I'll just go here and take player one. Oh, okay. And so this is the command module. This is how it works. I trigger the command module, mm -hmm. and that will score every other player's guy's modules. Yes. So I'm going to score four points. That's why you wanted me to swap that. Oh, not that's not. I mm -hmm. <laughs> looking back, mm -hmm. it may look like you that. You see this every time you make a well, suggestion. Well, all right. So it's either give me an extra point or an <laughs> extra know. dollar. I'm messing with either you. way. Okay. One, two, three, four. Good job. Okay. All right. All right. And I am going to go here and not detach my brain and go up one Ooh. lab point, and that'll give me an. Wow, extra you gain dude. an extra worker. That's why I wanted to get the extra food. Understood. So I'm going to go to the splicing lab. Okay. And I have nothing to splice. Oh, you went to the lab? Yeah. You actually get a point for that. We didn't give you that because oh, you're a brain. Right. Yeah, good point. What we mentioned earlier, you got to keep track of your yeah, brain you guys because they score for the module. They do. I think we've ended up like losing points before because we have not done that. Yep. I've been watching. That's the first time you actually used him on a scorable. Yeah, on a scorable action. thing. Yep. Okay. And. Hmm. I could go grab some tentacles. Oh, you don't have any modules, components, rather. No, I don't. Um, but I'd have to actually, like, go there to get them. So. You do. What? Yeah, they don't just come yeah, to like, you. Yeah, they don't just come, like, <laughs> like, beam me up. Yeah, you don't just get components. Um, or I could discard, like, a perk. But I'm not, I don't really want to do that. I kind of like my perks right now. So I'll right. go to Aquarium and I'll so get some So here tentacles. are some tentacles. Thank you. Okay, so that ends the placement. Yep. Okay, so splicing. splicing I get to splice, so he's going to become a brainiac. Mm, very good. Yes, this is good. And I'm going to send him here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He gets no points for it. Well, he gets well actually, points. actually gets two points for that. Yeah. So you get that, but actually gets three points because I have a revealed one. Yeah, that's true. All right. But we're going to get some more tiles out. I think that's good, good for everyone. We need to really just like wipe this. Tanning so. salon, that's a good one. Tanning salon's really good. And a science fair. Ah, oh, I like <gasps> that one. I like that one. That's a good one. Okay. All right. Wow. So this changes everything. <laughs> it does. Bring them back. All right. All my little dudes. Okay. Okay. So we are now on to round three. So what does we that give to us? Feed though first. Oh, Let's you're right. Feed. That. So I feed two. Five. Wow. This isn't good. No, that's all your food. No, it's not. Well. It's a lot of my food. It's a lot of food. That's why I'm so worried about food, though. All right, so Kay. round three. So this yeah. is where things change. So let's go through what happens here. So we uh, we deal three new perks. So these go away, and we deal up three. So we have a zoning board, which allows you to take any available build bonus. Oh, we have nice. a geneticist, which I love, and we have an engineer. Hmm. <sighs> when acquired... Some good ones. Okay. Yeah, All right. Double. Okay. What is cool. next? Um, and then we advance our science. All right. So I get a perk and you get and another I get dude. Another wow, you got six workers already. Right. Um, so I get a perk. What, what's out there? Well, let me look at them next. What's okay. after this? And then we our build bonus is times right, two. So, so we have to keep track of that too because we cover this up. So sometimes yeah. we forget. Build so. bonus is times two. So what are the perks out there? So Okay. So you have the zoning board, which allows you to take any available build bonus. That's a really good one. Uh, so you basically put I'll your worker that. here. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I need that. Like, bad. Okay. Excellent. So I have a zoning board now. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm first. Mm-hmm. This is... This is new for you. Incredible. 
what to do. All right, so I think with my first action, I'm going to move him to my zoning board mm -hmm. and take that build bonus, Okay. which is going to bump me up science, and I'm going to gain another worker. Cool. I needed to do that. Okay. I guess I just need money. I don't like how this is going. <laughs> well, it's like we're already round three, and none of my guys have any brains because of all these stupid things. You have one super brain. Yeah, it's like... Last time I played with these guys, it was like all brains. I had That's like my because cool we had styles, a like brain, we had a brain room out there that you like, could just keep getting them. Yeah, I know, and the tiles were cheaper. First, yeah, there's some pretty expensive this tiles. Needs to get wiped. So three. Well, you, sh you should have wiped it. Well, I may, I may, I may eventually, but we'll see. All uh, right. I think I'm gonna go here. Spend four bucks okay. and build the science fair. All right. And I'm going to go here and gain one of these. And then I'm going to take the... So I get two points for the science fair. Okay. And I'm going to go take it. And I can attach these things. Mm -hmm. And I get three points per attachment. I'm only going to do one, so I only get three points. One, two, three. And now I have a super flower. Mm -hmm. Super flower guy. Yep. He's going to start making me food now. That's good. All right. All right. I guess. All right, what do we have? A tanning salon? I don't have any of these components. So that's not gonna do anything for me. Mm -mm. Do this, a, do an adjacent thing. Oh, oh that's pretty neat. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll do that, why not? So you're going to build it? I guess. Five. Who are you building with? I guess this stupid <laughs> tiny man. <laughs> and I'll grab a brain for that. One, two, three points for that. You get a brain. And then I'll send him there. And he'll activate three food. Oh, an adjacent no. tile. So you're going to get two food and two dollars. Oh. I thought I was That's actually not bad. Food. All right. Oh, would you put them here? Yeah, on the component thing. Oh, you got a component. So what'd you take? A brain. Oh, you took the brain. That's right. Interesting. Okay. That's actually a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a bad. That's a real good one. Yeah. So this slides down. Mm -hmm. I got it. And where do I want to send this guy? Hmm. I don't really like the buildings that are out there. I don't. I'm either. gonna purge. Okay. So I'll do it. All right. All right. So I can purge as many as I want. I'm going to purge them all. Okay. So those get discarded. This does not count as my action. This no. is a freebie. Let's hope we get some good stuff. Oh. Mm, see, these are cheaper ones. This is good. Oh. oh you like the medical bay? Yes, bear? these are all good. The Michael bay. Yeah. Yes. Explosions. Explosions. <laughs> all right. Michael oh, the bay. is all food production. Mm -hmm. Pay food equal to an occupied uh, module's victory points and then activate. Hey, that's pretty good. That's really good. You need to get some stuff so you can build that. I do. What are we in round three? Oh, mm -hmm. wait a minute. Oh, you just built I that. Have, yeah, yeah, I should get six points. You should get three more points. Yeah. I can. Yeah. It's like we both have alligator arms right now. I know. <laughs> like we and do rounds, so. I, I built that this round too. Yeah, because you're standing on it. So. so I get two more. All right, okay. we got to remember that. There's yeah. double points now for building bonuses. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I want to build here? Uh, oh, okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Maybe I'll send him out there to do a build action. I'm going to pay three food. Okay. I'm going to pay for the genetic... Generic genetics. Generic genetics. So that's going to earn me Pay four dollars points. dollars for components. One, two, three, four. And where do I want to put this? I will put it 
Ooh. What are we, round three? Mm-hmm. I'll put it here. Okay. That's three food. Yep. As my bonus. He's going to go here and activate it, which is going to gain me two more points because he's a brain. And I'm going to pay a dollar. Why are you going to get... Oh, because you're... He's a brain oh, using the module. Right. I pay a dollar and I can take any component. And I shall take... Ooh. Take more plant parts, I think. All right. Good for you. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I, I think I see what needs to happen here. My alien race really needs to catch up here. Oh, first thing. Sorry. Uh, this should have oh, come off. Yeah, you're right. So now this command module is open. Yep. All right. I'm going to go to the cargo bay. Okay. And I'm going to get two dollars and two food. And no victory points because he's not a brain. Nope. That gives me my food I need. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. Uh, this is tough. I guess. I'll build. Yeah, I'm gonna build the commissary for two dollars okay. or two food. I'm gonna get two points, and I'm gonna put it. Hmm. There's so many good things I want <laughs> that I can't I get to. Like what? Uh, I can't like give the away. Like food. Can't give away all my my trade secrets. Oh, I don't know if I want all that food. Yeah. To be honest. Well, what can't you get? Uh, what's You're near a lot of stuff. Eh. These are pretty neat because they allow you to take whatever bonus it's like adjacent to. Remember. Yeah. And you're near a lot of those. Like you should be able to reach pretty much anything. Right. Yeah, you can always use food. A lot of them give you food. Yeah, I'll just take four food. Okay. Um, okay, so then he's going to go here, mm -hmm. and he's going to get a victory point, a gold, and a food, but he's going to get one extra of each because he's got technical, so he's going to get two gold and two food. Why? Because the commissary gives you a victory point, a gold, and a food. Oh, because you're sitting on the commissary. Yeah, he just yeah, went and took okay. the action, yeah. I can't Sorry. see it. Yeah, I know, it's tough, <laughs> the angles. So what do you get? I get just two gold, two food. Two gold, well, two dollars and two food. Two dollars, right? two food, yeah. Okay, there you go. Thank you. All right. Cool. So, I am going to take this dude mm -hmm. down here. Okay. And I'm going to build the medical bay. The Michael Bay. Michael Bay. Medical bay. Explosion. For four. <laughs> okay. How many points is that worth? It's two points, but Time it's actually two. four points. One, yep. two, three, four. And I'm going to build it. Hmm. Tough, right? I know, because it's like you could get you could get points, you could get claws, reactor bonus. Um, and these, like this, would let me take that Jason, action. Yeah, Jason right? module actions, correct. Hmm. And take a new perk. What perks do we have out? The geneticist. Oh, can we refill this? Yep. When you build, score a point. Ooh, I well, like that. That's not bad that. at all. Yeah. Uh, I might do that. I'm going to build this here. <laughs> yep. All right. So I'm going to build this here, which allows me to take this action without even placing that guy here. That's right. Because that's the bonus, right? Yep. Do I get the points too? For building it, yeah. No, 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 no. I don't get those points. <laughs> You'd only get that if you put a, uh, a brain guy there. All right, I'm going to take, I'm going to put the grappler. So that scores five points, right? Wait, what do you, yeah, I score Because you this. score it, yeah. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to take this architect 
instead. So when I build, I score an additional point. Okay, and you're going to take that action? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's what I want. So I'm going to take this yep. action, and I can pay this to get, to get two brains. Oh, there's only one brain left. I only want brains. Really? You're only going to make brain guys? I'm only making brain That's guys. crazy. No, it's just how it's working out right now. That so. is crazy well, you're talk. Well, you taking to one brain. I guess. <laughs> I'm like, I want all the uh, money. I'm going to have well, to score. Hold on a second. So is that it? That's your turn. I don't get these points. No. I just get the action. Okay. That's good. You want all the points. But I do want all the points. Well, you can send your guy there and take those uh, those points. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to activate the command module. So I only get to score your guys. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. That's pretty cheap. Eight. All right. And then I'm going to send this guy to non-human resources mm -hmm. and I'm going to swap some workers. Now that's cheap. That's not cheap. You <laughs> benefit from that. I guess. Depends on who you swap with. It depends with. on who I swap with. Uh, let's see. Where are your men? Where are you guys? Okay. Where are my guys? I'm on medical bay, cargo bay, activate adjacent tile. You're in the refinery. Cargo bay and the freelancer dormitories. Mm. I see. Maybe we'll swap the refinery with this guy. Mm. All, All right. right. So I go to the science fair and I get to attach components. Up to, this to two, guy. yeah. And I get victory points for each touch. I'm going to touch six. two, so I get six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Now you have another super brainiac. Uh, since he's sitting there, do I get those points? Nope. <laughs> cool. I get three dollars, please. Okay. I'll take a big three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm so against using this, I the big three. I do not know. Because it's not like common U.S. currency. Like, I'm like three dollar coin. That's crazy. All right, and I have one man left. Because I have all my six of my workers out. That's right. So I'm going to use him. Hmm. I could either get another perk or I could score. And I think I need to do that. So I'm going to go here and score everybody. All right. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then 12, 11, 13. 12, 13 points. See, now that's cheap. One, two, three. I had to think really hard about that move. That was easy peasy. <laughs> all right, so there's no splicing. Nope. Uh, we're just feeding. Yep. So bring so them all back. Them back. And let's count this feeding phase up. Ooh. All right, so. Six. For me. I actually have to pay three food, but I generate three food, so all I right. won't pay any food. You generate three, and you have to pay three, yeah. So he just feeds my own little. <laughs> They're just like I just picture. Oh, like actually, no. What I got this guy, so arms. I do have to. Oh no, no he, he feeds, feeds himself. himself. Yes. Yeah. You're good. Yes. Very good. Very good. Working on that engine. All right. Four. All right. Round four. Fight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's uh, let's kick it off. What are you gonna do, starting player? Hmm. I'm gonna send him to the boiler room. So I'm going to refill the reactor. So I'm okay. going to get two food because I sent a plant guy there. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one addition. No, no, that's it. No, I don't get the extra. So I get three food okay. and a victory point. Okay. Boom. Wow. I don't know what to do with all you're this food. You're so food heavy right now. I am. So many burgers. So let's put out three tiles. We have, what is that? Detached components. Underground lab. And you get a, wow, so you can detach up to two and get... And either get components or research. Yeah, that's good. Pay $2 to build a random... Wow, Whoa. that's cool. Or two victory points per attached on adjacent. On adjacent, Oh, wow, yeah. so life support's a good score. I like that quantum time. constructor. I do, that's pretty cool. All right, that was my turn. Crazy, all right. Oh, it was. I just hit the boiler room. Okay. All right, I think I'll go. I'm gonna go to the lab. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to detach. I'm not going to detach anything because he's a double brain. So you're going to go up I'm going to go up and I'm going to take the vendor spot. Okay. There you go. What's that? <laughs> Beggar's Alley. Uh, Nine points if you have the most poop. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send him. Uh, and I'm going to take any available build bonus. I'm going to take this again. Okay. And I'm going to get a perk. And Would I you will like take that one. Beggar's Alley. Okay. Now, what does that do? Just gives me nine points. If you have the oh, most Oh, at food. the end. So I get $2 in a food, and each player may give you money to gain victory points. Yeah. That's not bad. All right. All right. I have no money and no food. <laughs> <laughs> that is not good. Okay. I guess I'm sending this guy out. To like scavenge, <laughs> like here, I guess. Oh, did you give me a point for landing on this? No, no, spot? I didn't. Sorry. There you go. Um, so I'll get four food, right? One, two, three, four. Okay. You're up. Okay. Do I want to build something, I think? <laughs> I kind of do. I'll send him here. Do I want to send him there? No. I kind of want to get some stuff. I'm going to send him here. I'm going to pay $2 to buy a brain. The last brain. The last the brain. The last brain. Where did you send him? Oh, there. up there. Okay, mm -hmm. you're not building anything. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Go. Might have to go cargo bay and get two food and two dollars. Two bucks and two burgers. Two bucks and two burgers. All right. So I'm going to send this guy to the science fair and I'm going to attach another brain to him. Mm. He's going to get three points. One, okay. two, three. And he's a brain already, so it gets two points for just going there. Right. See, now I have my very own Brainiac. There, that's good. He's the super Brainiac guy. Mm hmm. I wish I had even more money. Hmm. Um. Darn it! I really don't know. <laughs> uh. I might need to get some more dollars. Can you send them up to the refinery, please? Mm hmm. Send him to the splicing. Okay. Okay, I guess I'd like to build, but I 
think I'll do my Swaparowski again. Ooh. Um, I'm just trying to see what I want to swap you with. Ooh, I want to swap you with. <laughs> um, I guess I'll I'll just swap the refinery again. It's fine. All right, so science fair time again. I'm adding more brains. Okay, you get three points. So, three points. Mm, I guess I get the refinery get action. Three dollars. And I should get a point. And a point, yes. Right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's really like, very difficult sometimes. Three bucks? I'll just take a three. Yep, you. there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, and my last move. Yes, I know what you're going to do. <laughs> Thank you. So you're going to score everybody? Yes. So that's two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, not bad. 67. All right, mm -hmm. now we splice. So I'll take my worker, please. Okay, there you go. And now he's gonna get genetically spliced and I can send him anywhere mm -hmm. on the board. Oh, that's right. Now, where do I send oh, him? Oh, see, I should have, I always forget that you get to take another action. I should have sent my guy to the splicing lounge and then I could have sent him to my non-human resources. Right, so instead switched. I'm going to send him right to this command hub B mm. and score two, four, six, seven points. Oh, that's dirty. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Capitalizing off of all my efforts. Yes, now bring him back. Okay. Dirty pool. Dirty it's really pool, dirty. It's Anthony. The, that's how you score. <laughs> Really? Well, that's what you have to do. All right. Uh, okay. Feed. All right. So I will need to feed two people, but I make three food. Kay. So I will actually gain a food. Okay. We just make so much food. You're player one, actually. So you, yep. you start. So we're round five. So what happens we are. now? So we deal three new perks. These go away. Advance. Our our build bonus is going to be times three wow. this time. And so now we're at huge incentive to build. Um, science goes him. up. I get two components. What would you like? I think I will take some lobster claws. Mm hmm And mm, I don't know if I want a leaf or tentacles. I guess a leaf. All right. Mm, yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. Okay. So you kick us off. Remember, three times build bonus. That's mm -hmm. huge. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to go to the cargo bay. Mm -hmm. Two food. Two... Um, yeah, okay. Your turn. Okay. I'm going to go here. Okay. Take any available build bonus. I'm going to take that. I get a perk. Okay. Which one do you want? The middle one. Foundry? Yep. Okay. And that's it. All right. I am going to go to the constructor before you dissolve all of these. Mm-hmm. Because I know what you're trying to get. Oh, they're all going. <laughs> and now I'll think very hard about which one I want because you're going to be wiping them. Um, I think I want this guy. I'm going to build this. Mm -hmm. This is going to cost five bucks. Five. I am going to what? You get nine points for that. I know. Yeah, that's know. huge. Um, but I need to think about where I want to put this. I think I need. I mean, I need food. 
So I should probably put this on food, right? Does that make sense? Oh, wow. If you activated that, built it here and activated that. And activated that, that wow. I get like a ton One, of food. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's huge. There we go. So that's five food for building it there. Yeah. Right? Four, five. Wow, then build a random one from the my, supply. That's why I wanted that one. So let's give you your nine points. All right. So I get nine points, 67, 76, mm -hmm. right? And um, he's going to go there. You get three points for going there. And I get three points for going there because I'm a brain. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And I get to pay two dollars and build at random. Oh, just take one. I want the top one from the big You want this deck. one? Yeah. Okay. Oh my Giant god. Giant statue! <laughs> yes! 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 I see you tried to give me that other one too. I was like, <laughs> You're like, yeah. No, take from the tiny small pile. <laughs> that was lucky. That was very lucky. Um all right, now where do I want to build this is the question. What's up there? Money times... Round. So it's money or food per round. Food per round. Um, science. I'd like to go to the science one, but that's too far. It's too far out there. Um... I guess, I guess I'll go f food per round. Wait. <laughs> See, that's weird. So like I technically I shouldn't put it like here because I can't really activate that. Or can I? Because there's nobody here. No, you, you can't activate I mean? that. That's one you cannot activate. Yeah, because that's with that action. Right. All right. I'm just going to go here. And I'll get um, food per round. Five food. Five, not five dollars. Five not food, sure. but you also Three, get four, five, 18, 18 points. points. That's insane. I know, it's just crazy. All right, so 79, 99, 99. 97? 97, yep. All right. I think that's that's my whole move. That is. Wait, don't I get three points because I'm a brain? I already got that three points, didn't I? She just all wants right. to keep stealing points. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to discard all of these. Okay. So let's go in the discard. Okay. I'm going to bring out six more tiles. Hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Pay a dollar for how many food? Six food. Mm -hmm. I can put that one out. All right. So what do we have? Nothing Whoa. really big. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. These aren't big points at all. Mm -mm. All the big point ones came out. In the beginning of the game, I yeah, told you it they were. completely made this whole game back. So with this, discard all of them from there and refill it. Build and activate something. So well, at least you get to build something. Build this. It's the biggest one. No, I'm not going to build that. Okay. <laughs> because I have. Well, I guess I could. You'd, Might as well. You'd get four victory points for your activation, your current activation. So I'll take this and I'll build it here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get five nine points, points for building it. Why? Three times three. Oh, yeah. Nine. I was going to give you these first. Right, so five, all right, five for that. Whoa, whoa, whoa not that Oops. one. Down here. So I get five points for, for placing it here. Uh-huh. Then I get nine more points for that building. Okay. For act And then right. activating it, I'm going to get four more points. Okay. Right, because I don't, it says don't move a worker there, so you actually just activate it. Yeah, right. And that's going to cost nothing because it just, and build, build a building and activate it, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. say pay for it. Like, do you think yeah, I have to pay for it? Uh... I think I may have to pay for it. Really? Yeah, because there's, nothing's for free. Nothing, well. Right, so I'll pay $4. So here's six. 
I don't think because here it says build it, and you got to pay. Build a thing. Right. What about mine? It says pay. Oh, maybe pay you two. You paid two. You, you got it at a so discounted a cost. Discount. Yeah. So. Why? Because it's oh, because it's the quantum constructor. Right. Yeah. So, so I paid. I paid what? You paid six. Four. I gave six. I get two back. So that's fine. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go to the laboratory mm -hmm. and up my science for right. six points. Okay. Because that just gives me six points. Correct. Six. Um, I'm gonna go here mm -hmm. and build a building for three food. Mm -hmm. Here's three food. And I'm gonna build a farmer's market. Mm. So I'll put it here. And I'll take five more points. Okay. Six points for the building, because it's times three. Right? And I'm going to activate it, and I'm going to pay a dollar and get five food plus <laughs> one. So I'm going to get six food. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hmm. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Seriously. Chimera Station's really growing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Did I build? I built that, right? Yeah. And then I technically built that? Yes, you built two things. Okay. So I should get two more points. Okay. I always forget about these things. Mm. Whoa. Um, all right, I think I'm going to go here. So I'm not going to get any points for going there because he's not a brain. You're not. He's not anything. Yep. Um, but I can score and discard a perk. Mm -hmm. And I will discard this architect or this vendor. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, so I'll discard this. So that's eight points. Mm. Wow, I'll take this conference. Okay. So when acquired, I get victory points. So you get five points. On the round, so I get five. Okay. That lets you recall a worker, right? It lets you recall a worker, yeah. That's pretty good. That's very good. All right, so I'll go here. Okay. And I'll take player one. Okay. And I'm going to score everybody on the board. Mm-hmm. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. It's a hundred. Okay. So this seems kind of cheap. Why? But I, I kind of want to do it. Well, here's the thing. Can I put him here, right? Yeah. Score everybody. Correct. Which is what eleven we said. That you just got um do what 11 points yeah okay so i got 11 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yeah okay so 18 28 29 Ugh. there we go okay that was your move mm -hmm. all right Hmm. 
what to do. So I could I could go out here and take So if I go here mm -hmm. and I bring out two more buildings. Okay. So I'm going to get one You're going to get two food and a victory point. Two food. And a point. And yeah, I got two buildings. Nice. All right, your turn. Hmm. The last move. See what I was going to say is just, I could go here. You can do it. Pull him back. And pull this guy back. Yeah. But then you could just go there. So <laughs> your big smile. You're like, yeah, go ahead. I was ahead, like, yeah, go right it, ahead and it. take him back. I wish you could see his face. Then it's I'd like, be like, yeah, you could do that. That would be a great move. Except. <laughs> and then you'd be like. Oh, it, and you'd yeah. be so mad. Uh, it's, trust me, I thought it through. I thought it through. Um, no, I think I'll just... Mm. Mm. I'm going to send him to the Spicing Lounge. Oh, you could do that. I can. Okay. Um, it's hmm. probably the best option, I guess. I, yeah, it's really the only thing you can. So I'm going to go here and build that monolith. It's going to cost me five because it's by round. Mm -hmm. So I'll pay five food. Okay. And it's going to be worth 15 points. That's awesome. Yeah, it's huge. And I will put it. Hmm, where's the most optimal? <laughs> It doesn't location. give me a lot of choices here. At least nothing that's super beneficial, but maybe I'll put it here. Oh. Oops. You need help here. Yes, yeah, so that's five food. Okay. That's probably the best I could do. Uh, probably. Okay. All right. Okay. And you're splicing. Yep. So what are you going to do? Um, ooh, I can't put both on. Nope. Darn it. Good thing I have enough food. <clears throat> oh, I can't do what I wanted to do. You can't displace any of my big guys. No. Oh. <laughs> I knew what you were you trying to do. You knew what I was trying to do, and you didn't even try to help me. Well, okay. Tell you how to beat me? Yeah. I can't do that. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were eyeing my big brain guy. Whatever, like, I'll just whatever. knock him right off. I to knock him off there. It scored like and another like 15 points. I don't have that like, thing points. that says, uh, see, I used to have that card that was like, you can displace your own marker too, but. Yep. Uh, but I can't put both of these on. All right, so I'm just going to put this food on there. Ah. Uh, so he can feed himself. And you can and take ground. pretty much anything you want. Um, yeah, I guess. See, it's silly because I was going to go here mm -hmm. and then I would have gotten victory points for each one that I attached. Right. You know what I mean? Um, but sadly, I won't. I would only get like five, like three points if I went there mm -hmm. to put on this other thing. I really wanted to knock your guy off. I know you did. So bad. You so need double bad. claws, though. Well, because I could have gone here too and swapped. And swap and one of my guys. And like, my guy out with your guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, like, whatever, because you're not going to do anything down there. Right. But I didn't. So. Womp womp. Oh, well. I'll just go. I guess I'll go to the monolith. Can't no, go there. I'm not going to score him, though. Oh, darn it. I was so convinced I could do this. Want me to give you the big move? What? I see a big move. No, I want to figure it out. 
Ah. Here. There it is. Boom. Staring you in the face. I know, right in the face. Twelve pointer. Is that what it is? Well, you have six guys out. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I do. Boom. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Best, best I can do. Whew. All right. All right. Well, that ends round five. Yeah. So now we have to score everything else. Yeah. All right. End game is quite simple. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gonna get bonus uh, bonus points for our resources and perks, right? So right off the bat, we we add up our resources. So for every three coins, you get a point. I don't have any money. I don't have any. But for every two food, we get a point. So how much food do you have? Oh wait, do we have to feed before we? Do oh this? yeah, you know what? That's a good point. <laughs> you have to feed. I owe five. Well, I'll bring them all back. Let's right, see. So you can see them. Yeah. So. I oh yeah, because I'm gonna get points. more food. Yeah. Most likely. Oh, maybe. Yeah, because you're at like a net gain on I food. I might here. be. I'm not sure. Let's see. I owe five because this guy feeds himself. I gotta feed two, one, two, four, three guys. Five. And I make three. I'm at net zero. Okay. Okay. Right, now so we can score. Now we can score. So add up your food. Okay. So I get three four, points. Six, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen. Sixteen food. I get eight points. Okay. Fifteen. All right, and now for every component, attached or not, you get two points. So how many oh. components do you have? One, two, oh, attached three, or not? Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven. And as do I, so we each get 14 points. Okay, three. 37. 37. 44. 58. Okay. All right, uh, perk cards. So we score perk cards. So okay. how many perk cards do you have? Um, this is... 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22. So you get 1, 2, and 20. So you're at 80, 180 points, right? Okay. And I've got 8 times 3 is 24. 25 for these. So uh, 57 plus 5 is 62. Okay. And I get 9 points. Oh, so I got the you 9 points, that, right? Yeah. And that's it. That's it. That's where it ended. It's pretty close. Yeah, Considering actually. Considering this is a very high scoring game. 162, 180. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. <sighs> All right. Let's it was going. that giant statue. Really helped. That's what out. it did it, I think. That was the big, it was well, just perfect we, timing. Well, it would have been a lot closer if I didn't get that giant statue. Yeah. We would have been off by two. All right, cool. Crazy. Let's go talk right. about it. All right. All right, there you go. Chimera Station. Cool. In all of its glory. Yes. That was close. This is a very high scoring game. Yes, considering game, so. how many points you score in this game, yeah. I'd say that was close. Yeah, I guess we'll talk about that. So, sure. um, so uh, we this is one that we picked up at PAX. Right, so this was well. actually, and mm -hmm. to disclose, mm -hmm. this was a review copy provided to us yes. by Tasty Minstrel Games yeah. at PAX. Yes. Um, and we've uh, we've gotten the chance to play it a couple times. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this from a replayability standpoint. Okay. Because we have all these different factions. Yeah. And we've played with pretty much all of them. I think the only one we haven't played was, was the, it the like, Bruisers. Claws, yeah. Claws guys, yeah. Uh, but um, but they look fun. Yeah, they, they really certainly fun. look fun. I think they'd be, probably be more fun in a, a three plus player game. I think so too, which so, is why we haven't really picked them up. But. Right. So for the two of us, but I think they'd still be fun all, all the last. Yeah. I think so. If we if we want to speak strictly about replayability, I don't think we've had a single game that's played similar. That is couldn't be further from the truth. Yeah. And further from the truth. I mean, that couldn't be further from the. I don't know. That couldn't be more true. Oh, there like you go. I was say. like, wow. I haven't eaten. <laughs> Are you cold? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. So, um, the th and the thing is, like, even playing as, for example, like, I've played as as uh, the brain people the last two times we played. Yeah, you only like to be the brainiacs. I like to be the brainiacs, but you, I still got a different experience every time. I was actually very frustrated this game mm. because I wasn't getting a lot of, the tiles weren't coming out that I like to get as the brain. The ones that give you all the free brains. Me, like, all the free brains yeah. and... The cheating um, tiles. Well, I get it. You know. So, um, yeah. But based on how those tiles come out really determines what kinds of actions you're going to take because your tiles that you're placing become your worker placement locations Your worker well. actions, yeah. So that part is really interesting and I think really lends to a lot of replayability. Yeah, and I think the, the base generic uh, actions along the right side of the board are underwhelming. They're, yeah. they're, they're necessity. They're sort of default. 
or their default, and yeah. as they should be, right? And right. that's what you would expect for the stock uh, placements. Uh, so you're really kind of banking on really good tiles mm -hmm. and really powerful tiles that come out onto the station so that you can, you know, continue to build your engine quickly. Yeah. Right. So, um, but with that said, the the sheer amount of different rooms that are available in or different modular uh, mods, right? Right. That are available in this game just it, it blows the replayability through the roof. I think. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, and and the fact that you've got the four different factions and you've got the Two different sides of the faction board, so you can mm -hmm. you can kind of mix and match it. So if you're playing sort of a, a game with somebody who's new to it, you know you could take the penalty by playing the generic side and let right. them play the advanced side, yeah. um, because they're going to be a little bit more powerful, I think. Right. So there's a lot of ways to tweak it. So yeah, definitely replayability on this is, is off the charts. Is off the charts. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's talk about kind of playing with other people too. So weight and audience. Who do you think this is for? Hmm. Who do you think this is for? I think, I think that pretty much anybody could sit down to play this game. However, mm -hmm. it is very deep in strategy. Yes. More so than I expected. Yeah, I, at, at first glance, and I think what, what tends to throw you for a loop here... Is the graphics. Is, is the graphics. So yeah. It's sort of like very um, cartoony, right, sort of like right. kitty. It's got the little bright, colorful uh, meeples. Right. You know, the modular meeples, which we'll talk about in a bit. Yeah. But um, but at first glance, it looks almost like a, a, a childish type game. Yeah, and, that, and we'll talk about expectations yeah, too later, so you, but you, 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 yeah, I agree. Yeah, so I think, but with that said, this is not a game that a kid who's, you know, t you know young, maybe mm -hmm. six to eight years old, is really going to like outside of the fact that they get to play with cool looking modular right. uh, minis, but yeah. the, they might find the, the strategy a little bit more complex because it is it is definitely... Uh, a tile placement euro, mm -hmm. you know, work, tile so. placement, worker placement euro, yeah. which has you know a lot of scoring capability. And uh -huh. if you don't take advantage of those mechanics, you're going to lose terribly. Right, and I think that's where, as with any any kind of like euro game, I think that um, anybody could kind of sit down and play this and not be. Uh, well, I should say gamers should be able mm -hmm. to sit down and play this and not be overwhelmed. It's sort of as heavy as you want to make it and really depends on the people that you're playing with. Mm -hmm. So if you are very highly strategic, very efficient, you love to plan, you like these kinds of games and you are very good at maximizing um, you know, your point engine basically, um, and you're playing with people that maybe aren't as much like that, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's gonna. It may be a little bit unbalanced in that yeah, environment, I think so. um, but just because the strategy is there. So um, anyway, so it's heavier. Yeah, it's I, heavier than it looks. Yeah, I would say like your mid to heavy heavyweight gamers yeah. for sure, and definitely if you're into the heavier stuff, euros and things like that, don't let the graphics put you off because yep. this is very very heavy. Um, all right, great. Now let's talk about components because I'm super excited about that. So this is. Um, <laughs> This is where we said, you know, it kind of throws you for a loop because yeah. you've got these like cutesy plastic, um, almost what you would think of as gimmicky. Yeah. Uh, meeples, alien meeples, right? That 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 break you're apart like Legos, yeah. and you're adding arms and claws right. and and leaves and and brains, right? So it's like, all right, you know, is it kind of is it necessary? And I don't know, but yes, I it's think absolutely it, it absolutely is because. What better way to remember yes. what abilities, because uh -huh. those abilities are extremely powerful. So like what abilities does each of your meeples have, right. each of your workers when you send them out to the board? Um, and it's not easy to get those things attached to them. Right. You know, so there's, and well, there. And the, and the, sorry, go no, ahead. No, go no on, I'm go just on. very excited about this. I think that it's, it, it's very difficult to assign individual capabilities to an individual worker. Correct. As we're trying to get at. So, you know, the fact that you're physically putting something very visual onto the meeple that that lets you know what that meeple is capable of doing is really innovative, I think, because otherwise how would you represent that? I mean, what are you gonna have a tableau with yeah. all the different workers and what they all you do could, and then your bookkeeping a lot and stuff? The only thing I could think of is you could yeah. have different colored meeples, but then uh -huh. again, you wouldn't be, like that would represent it's, each faction, right? Exactly, so, right. But then again, you could have different size meeples and then at the end of the day, it's like how many different types of meeples do you need to have This, in this was probably box? the most efficient way to do it. I agree. And it came across really well. Yes, and it, it's, even though it looks gimmicky, it's, it's an absolute blast to play with. And yeah. I think it's an absolute necessity too for, yeah. for the way that this game plays because right. 
uh, now we can cross it over to theme, right? Because yeah, the yeah. game is about, uh, you know, biologically <laughs> Manipulation. manipulating yeah. these alien species to, to be more efficient at doing yeah. things for you, right? And being exactly. more efficient at gaining resources and gaining points, etc. So to represent that in such a clear, concise way on the board yeah. is 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 great achievement in my opinion. I think so too, because that could very easily you know, trying to manage that in any other way could make um it could make the game very clunky. Yeah, I think, I think so. Because you don't want to spend your time. I mean, this game isn't about testing your ability to know what your workers do. It's about using a variety of workers that are going to be different every single game. Mm -hmm. Each individual one is going to be different every single game. Right. And using them to your best right. ability. So. And you don't you don't have to sit there and waste time trying to decipher what this shaped meeple of yeah, this exactly. particular color is going to do on this yeah. square. I know that I'm sending a guy who has tentacles and claws mm -hmm. and I can push somebody in different off colors. in different colors yeah. and I can push him off that square, right. take over the action and then get an extra resource in return. Right. Like it's that simple. Yeah. And I think you need that for this game mm -hmm. because there's so much of that mix and match. Yeah capability that it, this is in my out it's the only way I think you could easily do it and I think they nailed it on that yeah I think so too and it, um, and it bring it ties the theme it does I know. right together yeah so no, that was great yeah. yeah um aside from the meeples the rest of the components are also very good yeah I like the giant giant big old hamburgers the coins now here's it are like my favorite now disclaimer yeah, go, here this is the deluxe version I know. This is not the standard. So this version comes with the original components, so we get to see what the standard version mm -hmm. components are, and they're just cardboard chits. So your burgers right. are chits, your coins are chits, they're all cardboard. So if you know the bling isn't a big deal to you, then you'll get everything you need, um, and it'll be cardboard. But if, if bling is important. But if bling yeah. is important, the metal <laughs> coins are awesome. Yeah. Um, the wood uh, round tracker's cool. Yeah. You know, because it's just kind of big and chunky, and I like that. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's stickers for all of these things, so you'll put stickers on all your your player uh, score markers, uh -huh. stickers on the track, uh, stickers and all that. So I think, and the burgers, the the fact that yeah. they're burgers that are painted with the with the burger on it and they're wood. Yeah. You know, it, it just feels a little yeah, bit more. Hey, it's just a different experience when you play with wooden components and, and yeah. metal coins versus cardboard. So right. That's the difference. Yeah. I really enjoy Yeah, so it. with the deluxe version, components are awesome. Yeah, fantastic. Um, all right, fun factor. Yeah, it's a fun Go game. Ahead, it's, it, you know, honestly, it's, it's, it's fun uh, and, pretty, and pretty thinky. It's extremely Which thinky. is what we look for in games, and right. I think that's why we enjoyed it so much, is yeah. because it was such a, it, it's such a deep strategy mm -hmm. and really requires you to plan ahead. Could be very AP prone. Yeah, without so, a doubt. From a fun standpoint, if you're in a group that is very AP prone, mm -hmm. <laughs> this may not be the one to bring around. Right. You know, unless you're waiting to do that. But um, yeah, uh, a lot of fun. Yep. Made a lot of fun. Um, what would you compare this to? Wow. Um, pretty much any worker place and top place yeah. that came out there. Like, because it has all the general mechanics, right? Right. I, I think uh, as as you look at any other sort of put a tile out, place a worker mm -hmm. on it, use the action. You've got six workers at max. Yeah. You start out with four. Um, it follows pretty much any worker placement suit. You know yeah. what I mean? So um, so you could probably compare it to a, a whole boatload of games. However, I think where this one stands apart is with the modular meeples. meeples and the fact that they have the, their abilities are represented by mm -hmm. you know on the meeples themselves and allows them to get yeah. some of these bonuses. So you're not actually building an upgrade on your on your player board because normally the the uh, these types of games you would sort of hey I'm gonna build a building on my player board that gives right. me an ability to yeah. take an extra item when I use a tentacle worker. Right. Right. No. Yeah. Instead, it's actually it's you're, that worker you're upgrading the worker. Right. And that's what I find pretty cool. I think that um, the only thing I could kind of compare that to is um, like Tiny Epic Quest, which we played well, recently. The, with the item meeples. With the item meeples. Yeah. Except that was that was very. It wasn't such an integral part of the game. I mm -hmm. don't feel like. I mean, it was, but it was more of like a goal kind of thing. Right. Um, where you attach like maximum two things. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think that that was. Uh, Nothing. I've, I've not seen anything like this. No, this is really cool. So yeah, very different. Okay. But again, the yeah. the worker placement mechanics and the action. And the tile placement. That's and that's all standard mm -hmm. suit. So yeah. Um, how about expectations? 
Yeah, so this, uh, go ahead. It, this exceeded my expectations only because I was expecting a lighter game. Mm -hmm. um, so when, I mean, even when we saw it like set up at, at PAX and all that kind of thing, I was mm. kind of anticipating it was going to be not as deep in strategy, and I expected the modularity of meeples and stuff to kind of be a little more gimmicky. Um, cute, like I thought it would be, okay, mm -hmm. like that's kind of, that's cool, you know. Uh, but I didn't expect it to be so integral to the actual strategy of the game. Right. And I really, really appreciated that. Yeah. Um, and then the replayability with the number of times we've played, having it be a, a very different experience. Yeah, I didn't... Every time was really cool. I didn't expect um, to really, I don't know, you kind of get turned off when you see sort of gimmicky components, right? Yeah. And the meeples were like, eh, I don't know, is that is that going to be, you know, just kind of annoying? Right. While you're playing, yeah. just I mean, unless you've got baby hands and you can't get the little things apart, like somebody I know. Uh, they're very, they're kind of tough. Sometimes. It's not that bad. So, uh, <laughs> but they ended up not being gimmicky. They actually yeah. ended up being very appropriate mm -hmm. for the mechanics of the game. Yeah. So that 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 definitely beat my expectations, and I did not expect this to be as uh, strategic of a game. Mm -hmm. As it was, and yeah. I didn't expect it to be Euroy. Right. And it was. And it was. So I think that um, the one thing that I didn't mention that I also really enjoyed was um, the there's like a little bit of you guess you could consider like take that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a whole faction that's dedicated to just bumping people off of locations and stuff. But it's funny. But, but you're not penalizing. It, well, that's what I was gonna say. Mm. I mean, at first glance, though, when I saw that, I'm like, oh great, like, are we gonna have to? you know, do that a lot. Mm. But when you get kicked off of a spot, you go to the worker lounge, there's actually a, um, I think like one of the... Um, the perks. The perks. The, it's called the lounge lizard. Up. Yeah, and um, when you go to the worker lounge, you get like bonuses and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it almost incentivizes you even further for being kicked off of stuff. Right. Um, yeah, so I, you know, that that piece of it, if that worries you or anything, I mean, hopefully you saw in the playthrough, it doesn't really come into play. Too yeah, much, the, only, the only like take that here uh -huh. is by jumping on like the command tiles and scoring everybody first. Yeah, but it's like almost necessary. Yeah, it's necessary. You know? But it's not like like a take that, it's just a, I'm gonna grab yeah. all the points before you do. Exactly. But then you can just do and it the next round it. and And then we even saw like there's another hub that comes out like yeah. you can place if you really want to. So there's a yeah. lot of ways to, to yeah. catch back up. Yeah. Okay. Um so let's talk about pros and cons. I think we talked about a lot of pros. Yeah, so we definitely yeah. like the theme. The components are fantastic. Theme, components. The uh, strategy. The strategy, depth and strategy. Mm -hmm. um, so what would you consider as a con? Um, I, I'll, I'll go first. Then. Okay. So, uh, I mean, this isn't a con by any stretch, but I think the game um, seems quick. Almost too yeah. quick for a Euro, right? Because it's five rounds, but those rounds go fast. They do. Like, it, you, you get in and out very quickly, so... Um, I don't know if that necessarily, See, I think that would be a con, but I, it's not like really a, a con people... because I don't really want it to be that long. Well, exactly. You know, it, uh, as I yeah. think it kind of ended. So is that really a con? Maybe not. I don't think so. I think that's almost like a pro. Yeah. Especially if you're uh, somebody who right, doesn't like con. the worker placements because they're usually very, very long. Here's a con. Okay. The I think the scoring is too high. Ah, yeah. That, I don't like a game that scores for. upwards yeah. of almost 200 points. Like that's right. just kind of like too much. Like, yeah. Um, and how do you mitigate that? Make everything earn Just less points. Just scale it down. Yeah, yeah, so it probably could use a, a bit of scaling down because I don't like having... When you lap a scoreboard, right. <laughs> that's usually when I consider, like, can we just scale the points down a bit to make it, yeah. like, okay, I'll only earn one points instead of 24 points for this? Or, right. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I and think that's, they, they could have benefited from that. I agree. Because then, then, you know, you're only, you know, you're tying or so as opposed to, like... A twenty point disparity right. or whatever, but I don't know. Maybe they had a reason for doing that. Could but be. Yeah, that was the. It's hard to keep track of like you know a lot of points like that. Right. I think that was. And it's hard to assess like how you're doing sometimes. Probably the big con. I think yeah. also it, you probably could have. I think there should have been a greater need or greater penalty mm -hmm. as it gets later in the game to feed your people, because it also yeah. becomes too easy to feed your monsters towards the end. Well, yeah, but you were playing a faction that. I mean, I really had to struggle for food. Because you chose to build only brains on your workers. Had you just put a few plants on them? Yeah. You could almost mitigate the food round entirely. Perhaps. Right? And it doesn't, and it doesn't cripple strategy. you. But you had a worker that didn't have anything on them, right? Say you just decided one I round know. to put two leaves on them by taking the one um, science, thing, science fair space, right? Yeah. You would have never had to want for food after that. Period. 
It's true, but I, I feel like I would have been giving up something else. One turn. You know what I mean? Agreed, but I think I'm just saying. I just think that I, I didn't feel like having to feed right your was people. as important as it is in some other games. Agreed. Okay. Right, yeah, because most games that. where you have to feed, the feed um, round is usually where you cringe and go, "Oh my god, how am I going to yeah. feed these people?" But in this one, the penalties are are pretty light. Right. Like you could either. Oh yeah, because you can pay in victory points, and we didn't. Even you have pay to do well. That. You only pay victory points. Well, the first thing is like, do you pay in food? No, I don't have any food. So then you actually give up one attachment. Right. Right, which you can get back, and then after yeah. that, if you don't have attachments to give up, you pay in points. Like so, you have mm -hmm. a, a lot of ways to pay for the food right. instead, and it's not really that punishing. Right. So I think I, I would have liked to see a little bit more pain for not feeding your people. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Um, I guess the only con I can think of is that um, the coins and stuff don't come in the base game. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of. All right. Fair um, enough. Yeah. I don't know. I'll That's put that in the cons section. Okay. Put that in the cons. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, anything else you want to say? No. I think um, uh, we're both very happy with this one. Yeah. Um, surprisingly, because mm -hmm. we didn't expect it based on, on what it looked like. Again, when it's on the table and you've got these bright plastic alien workers and you're just kind of like, really? You know, for someone who, who likes... Heavier euros. Yes. Heavier, dry, boring like euros. Yes. Why do we <laughs> talk about lignum when we talk about Because it's dry. probably like the driest one I can Yeah. Think. So like when you're used to seeing that and that's what you you expect a heavy mm -hmm. game out of it. Uh, but when you see like bright little alien plastic dudes, you don't ex you immediately don't expect right. heavy out of that. And when you get sort of a heavy thinky game out of it, um, it's it's pleasant. Right. right so. Yeah, I would agree. That's all. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So there you have it, Chimera Station. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.